Good morning, it's Thursday, June 25th, and you're watching World Watch News in 3. <music> Russians mark their past, their World War II Victory Day, and now they prepare to vote on the future, a new constitution. That's a set of broad legal principles that specifies how a government operates. If approved, it'll replace the constitution that's been in force now for close to three decades. The current one replaced the communist constitution back in 1993 following the collapse of the Soviet Union. Those who want to change it say it's necessary to guarantee a package of economic benefits like raising worker pay and retirement pay, but it would also allow President Vladimir Putin to extend his time in office. Under the current structure, he's required to leave the presidency four years from now. The new constitution would reset presidential term limits and allow Putin to stay in power until the year 2036. That would make him the longest serving leader in the modern history of the country, longer even than the communist dictator Joseph Stalin. Putin has been president or prime minister of Russia for 21 years so far. High tech just always gets higher. Japan has rolled out a supercomputer that shares the nickname of the highest mountain in the country, Mount Fuji. Fugaku is now the fastest computer in the world. It's almost three times faster than the computer it knocked down to number two. Supercomputers aren't made for the kind of work you do on a laptop. These systems are meant to solve military and scientific problems, breaking codes and helping to create new weapons, aircraft, and drugs. This one will take artificial intelligence to a whole new level. China also reaching for a whole new level, way higher than Mount Fuji. This is Beidou, the Chinese word for the Big Dipper. This launch carries the final satellite to complete the system, and that'll be China's own GPS. That's what keeps you from getting lost when you're driving somewhere new. Beidou will allow China to sell GPS service around the world in competition with American and European service. The United States and China regularly clash over technology questions, namely that China steals from American tech companies and uses its own technology to spy on other countries. This year, every NBA player gets a ring, if they want one. Not a championship ring, a smart ring that can detect early signs of coronavirus. The device is made by the Finnish company Aura. It monitors movement, sleep, pulse, heart activity, and temperature. A change in this data could indicate the beginning of an infection. Some doctors are skeptical, and the Food and Drug Administration has not approved the rings for medical purposes. So it's up to Aura to prove their $300 ring actually is a winner. Are you ready for a big old dose of aww this morning? How about 77 pounds worth of baby hippo? This is Gloria's first dive into her deep pool at a French zoo. She's the only baby hippopotamus in France. Her breaststroke may be lacking, but I have to say, I think she's got the doggy, I mean hippo, paddle down. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm The Big Bash. Make sure that you subscribe right there. It's totally free. It's going to let you know whenever we have a new show for you. And remember, whatever the news, the purpose of the Lord will stand. We'll see you in a moment.